In this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to get Nubby to shoot things. If you're watching this video, let's assume that you already know how to open up Stencil and sort out your workspace folder. Also, how to get your characters from Pixel App, for example, into Stencil. And lastly, I'm going to assume that you know how to control your character exactly the way your character should move on the screen. If you've got all of that sorted out, let's go and have a look at how to get bullets. If you look at my actors, I've already imported from Pisco a really simple bullet character I made, which is just a round circle. Before we program the shooting, we have to sort out a couple of things. We're going to go to the bullet and the physics tab. Let's make sure that the bullet is not affected by gravity. Of course, you can change that if you want your bullets to fall on the floor. And for Nubby, if we go to the physics tab, let's make sure that Nubby can't rotate. Otherwise, the bullets will make him spin around. And of course, gravity for Nubby is essential because he jumps up and down. Now, another thing that we have to take care of is in the properties. So if you have a look at my bullet properties, I've changed the group of my bullets to a group called players. Now, just a quick 30 seconds information here. Every actor in your game belongs to a group. In this case, you can see that when you're a actor, actors can collide or hit other actors. So when you fire bullets, those bullets can actually collide with you and knock you off or even kill you, for example. So what we've done here is very simple. We've taken our bullet and made it a player because players and actors don't collide. And if we go to Nubby and look at the properties there, Nubby is an actor and actors don't collide with players. So when Nubby shoots, those bullets won't affect him in any way. Let's go to the events. I've already set up an attribute here called shooting. Now shooting is a little bit like the touch floor attribute. We need to know when we've shot and when you're not allowed to shoot. Now in the set attributes, we're going to set shooting to true when the game starts. We're going to add a brand new block, call it shooting. And we're going to need an if, we're going to need a user input. But before we do that, what we're going to do is start to think a little bit ahead of how the shooting is going to work. So the control is going to be the space bar, but we don't want to be able to shoot whenever we want to. We actually need to control how many bullets coming out of Nubby and how often we can shoot. So let's put in an and. So we'll go over here, we'll go to our comparison and put in an and. We're going to do when the space bar is down and we have to check if shooting is true. So we're going to go over here to our comparisons put in an equal sign and we'll put in the attribute of shooting like this and say if it's true. So if we have a very quick look at this, when you press the space bar, it will shoot a bullet only if shooting equals true. When we start the game, shooting is true, so shooting should work. Now, when we press the space bar and shooting is true, we need to create a bullet. So let's grab the create actor type block there. We're gonna choose the actor type, which is of course a bullet. And it's going to be created at wherever Nubby is. So if we go to the actors, we would like it to be at the X of self, that's Nubby, and the Y of self, like this. So when we press the space bar, a bullet should be created. Let's very quickly test this. And let's have a look. So we have bullets, and we have actually loads of bullets. Now, this is really simple to understand if we go back to our code, because what we've said is if the space bar is down and shooting equals true, create a bullet. So, of course, what we have to do as soon as a bullet's created, we have to set shooting to false. Like that. Let's test that out. So let's have a look. And there you can see. If you shoot one bullet, one is created. Shooting is set to false. Therefore, I'm not allowed to create any more bullets at all. That works perfectly. Now let's make the bullet move in some way. So what we're going to do is we are going to set the motion like this and we're going to set the X speed. Let's do 40. That's quite fast. And we don't want Nubby to move. So we're going to do the last created actor. And that's quite easy to understand because we created a bullet and we're going to set the X speed for whatever the last created actor was. Let's test that out. And here we go. And there you can see, I'll just refresh that page again. You can see that's quite a good working bullet. Comes out of Nubby and it flies forward. 
Now, of course, I can't shoot anymore because I've set shooting to false and it's never going to go back to true again. So I've got to fix that now. So let's go here into our flow and time. And we're going to say do after, let's say one second, and let's set our shooting to true again. Now, what that means is every time I shoot, it's set to false. And then after one second, it's set back to true. Therefore, I can shoot again. Let's test that out. And let's have a look. And there you go. One second delay. If I just hold the space bar down, you can see that every second a bullet comes out. Now we can adjust the time of the bullets, no problem. So we can make it half a second, a quarter of a second. That doesn't matter. We have one little problem here. The bullets seem to be only traveling in the direction of left to right. So if I turn Nubby around, it's still shooting the wrong way. Let's fix that. And one thing we can do is use the animations of Nubby to figure out which direction the bullet should go in. So what we're going to do is put in two ifs like this. We're going to put an if and an if. And what we'll say is very simple. If, in the draw of the actor there, if the current animation for actor and the current animation for actor, we need two equals like this. And we're going to put in our two current animations. So if the current animation for our actor is walking right, or if the animation is walking left. Now let's very quickly just check if I've got the spelling correct. Yep, walking left and walking right, like this. And what we're going to do very simply, if I just remove that one there, what we're going to do is very simply set the X speed to 40. I'm actually going to increase that to 60. I would like the bullet a bit faster. And what I'm going to do here is add another set X speed. This time I'm going to make it minus 60 and make sure that says last created actor there. Let's put that in like this and test out our game. So let's have a look. And there we have it. We have bullets flying in the direction that Nubby is walking. And that works really well. You can see that the one second delay is a bit too much. So later on, we'll adjust that so that the time is perfect. You can see that the firing of the bullets and the jumping work really well. So as you can see, it's quite easy to put bullets into games. It's quite a few things you have to think about, but once you've got them sorted out, it's really easy to get your character shooting.